I mean, Ricky, is it okay we could meet the survivor, Fernando Perez? I mean, yeah, sure, he's recovering so far. Um, his condition's going well, so we might be able to meet Mr. Congressman Perez. Uh, yeah, we could probably take you over there. Uh, do you want to meet him now? Yes. All right, then, we'll set you meet right away, sir. Thank you. Mr. Fernando, how are you feeling? Um, uh, uh, no good yet. Well, I just found some new news on the attack that could probably lead to over, like, a good outcome. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm good about it, yeah. We do have some information uh, we found from the hacking. We found this video right here. This is the video right here we're gonna watch. Watch here. I'm gonna attack. We also every found a simulation of the video. This is the attack uh, simulation, as you can see. File 1288C, which simulates the uh, bombing attacks. As you can see, this is what took place at Broadwood. Now the administration is working hard to find out who placed it here, but we have someone's name when we ID'd the files. His name is, his name goes by C-A-G. That's his Elias ID. But we do have to um, take some precautions in war or measures to prepare this nation for a possible potential attack. So what do you suggest, sir? You have any ideas? Do you think we should be prepared for war? Or prefer some type of counter military action? Because they're the ones responsible. What do we do? How about... A metal detector. Um, some, we could. Something that could detect them. We, have, we could use survey drones that could fly around the area. We might have a location. We'll have an update to you. What about, what about x-rays, or like um, thermal vision, drones maybe, we could see what's in the pocket. Uh-huh. Okay, well we'll have something else to Thank you. So Mr. President, here's what we have on the files. We believe that the Bureau is suspicious of Congressman Perez, he might have been an accomplice or working with the VIP, and we believe that the video might be just as a puppet to trick us. With Elias C A G, we identify. We're still working on the full name, but this was apparently an air raid shelter that was built during the renovations of the assembly building. They, we believe that they were using the blueprints of the simulation you saw earlier as a way to put the. Uh, number of explosives we would think the government or somebody who works there was hired a contractors how did the building collapse uh using cable wiring that was being using during the renovations and we believe that they were using that air raid shelter to protect congressman perez because there's no probability that he would survive without that air raid shelter somebody must have contracted him and planned this out mm. there's a traitor among us yes there is there is something out there and the truth is out there indeed